is all about accountability. We have seen Florida take action against the bad roofers and the bad attorneys. Tonight, one lawmaker says it's time to bring down the hammer on all bad actors. It's tough to be a homeowner in Florida. Despite sweeping insurance reforms last year, families are still getting hit with major premium spikes. Some now telling aid on your side they're losing coverage altogether for roof solar panels installed years ago. And in the wake of Hurricane Ian... They've got to stop changing our estimates. And they've manipulated these documents. State investigations launched after three insurance adjusters testified their estimates had been changed to reduce payouts. State Senator Travis Hudson says last year's reforms were good, but now it's time to try something new. We're only punishing the lawyer side of things, not the insurance side. There's insurance companies out there that are bad actors, and we know that. Enter Senate Bill 7052, dubbed Insure Accountability. The bill sponsored by Senator Hudson passed its first committee Wednesday. It stops insurance companies from dropping storm victims until after repairs are complete and the claims are closed. And for bad acts during hurricanes, it increases fines on insurers a whopping 500 percent but we wanted to talk about your top concern rate increases so oir plus the insurance companies have to explain themselves if they want a rate increase are you looking at what we've done in the last six to 12 months and are you considering that and if you're not then you probably shouldn't get your rate increase after two special sessions last year florida's insurance companies won big. They got protections from lawsuits, taxpayer money to bolster the industry. Senator Hudson says now those changes must be taken into account before the state approves more rate hikes. Not everyone is on board. Ex-state Senator Jeff Brandis has been a leading voice for reforming the market. Nothing in this bill will lower rates. In fact, largely it will increase rates because of the cost of compliance. Well, time is going to tell. Insurance companies say that the cost of their insurance, called reinsurance, has also increased, and they say that it is at a generational high. I wanted to make that clear. Now, former Senator Brandis, who's been termed out, says that is the most pressing issue, and he predicts that several more insurance companies are going to fail in the coming months. So we'll be looking out for that. I know you've gone through this bill pretty, pretty closely. I mean, what's in there that's actually going to keep insurance companies honest? So if this passes, insurance companies will have to submit their manuals to state regulators. So regulators are going to know exactly what is inside these policies. So they're going to be able to hold the insurance companies to that. Also, Senator Hudson tells me that state regulators in the governor's office, they're also on board with these changes. The bill is still making its way through committees, but it's expected to become law not on July 1st, a little bit later, August 1st, to allow state regulators to make the changes they need. All right. Thank you, Masa. And if you have something you'd like Masa to investigate,